A recent five-year Canadian market outlook was just released by Remax Canada, forecasting and examining different economic scenarios and how interest rates, immigration policy, and taxation could affect the real estate market within the next five years. In today's video, we're going to discuss exactly what was said in the report, but first, let's roll the intro. Hi everyone, Josh here, and before we start, I just want to remind you to hit that subscribe button and turn on the post notifications so I can continue to make more content like this. So you may or may not have seen it yet, but there was a recent report released by Remax Canada in collaboration with Leger, where it examined how the country's housing market might respond to specific scenarios between 2022 and 2027, such as interest rate hikes, annual immigration volumes, and taxation. Throughout the report, the questions they tried to answer was how these factors may impact Canadians' capacity to buy, sell, and maintain their homes in a stable manner over the next five years. The first factor they explored in the report questions how the housing market affordability would be affected if interest rates continue to climb. As the economy rebounds from the pandemic, we've seen inflationary pressures pushing central banks, including the Bank of Canada, to raise interest rates. Additionally, the unknown conflict between Russia and Ukraine adds more uncertainty, impacting both inflation and economic growth. In a survey by Remax Canada, it was found that 61% of Canadians believe real estate is the best long-term investment, and they do not expect this to change over the next five years. With talk of interest rate hikes dominating the headlines, Canadians are understandably concerned about the impact of interest rates on housing and on the economy. According to the Leger survey, 58% of survey respondents believe that interest rates rising further will diminish their desire to buy or sell property in the next five years. As the economy rebounds from the pandemic with strong employment and improved household savings, the report mentions that the Bank of Canada embarks on a steady cadence of four interest rate increases in the coming year. Under these conditions, housing across the country, and especially in some of Canada's largest cities, will remain expensive through to 2027, but not as heated on the pricing front as was the case over the last two to three years. It is also noted that the, if the interest rates steadily increase without a sharp rise, it should not impact the ability of current homeowners to sustain the cost of their mortgages. When it comes to immigration, it is said that the federal government's goal is to welcome 432,000 new immigrants in 2026. With the influx of immigration expected in the coming years, demand in the housing market will likely increase. So what solutions does the report offer to make housing affordable? CIBC Capital Markets and the Conference Board of Canada agreed that the Canadian economy needs a minimum of 400,000 plus new immigrants annually to sustain our economic vibrancy. Immigration can provide significant benefits for the Canadian economy as a whole as it helps meet the labor market needs of particular communities and sectors. According to the report, historically it took an average of seven years for a new immigrant to access stable employment in Canada. Today, that time has decreased by half. This means that new immigrants can land on their feet faster and participate in the Canadian economy in various ways. If Canada is able to focus on bringing in more immigrants to fit specific chronic labor market needs, such as the trades and construction, this could help address severe labor shortages that limit housing supply. According to CIBC Capital Markets, one third of new home buyers in 2021 were able to purchase due to financial support from family. This is double compared to what it was five years ago. Even move-up buyers experienced the impact of generational wealth transfer with 10% buying a new home thanks to a gift. To manage the large deficits and very hot real estate market, the report mentioned speculation has increased that the federal government could remove the capital gains tax exemption on primary residences in the next five years. It's not the first time the government has tried to implement some sort of tax to lower the temperature in Canada's housing prices, such as the foreign buyer's tax. However, the potential of removing the exemption on capital gains for principal residences could truly disrupt the market. If the scenario were to occur in the next 12 to 24 months, even in a modified or hybrid manner, 
it would drastically affect the retirement plans of millions of Canadians who plan to cash in on the full gains from their sale of their principal home to fund their retirement. The primary homes of Canadians represent the greatest store of value for most homeowners and removing a significant portion of that value by eliminating the exemption could cool the market in profound ways. It would be a massive blow to the net worth of Canadian households, which in turn could dramatically swing the housing market from hot to cold. The report mentions that taxation in many ways historically has stiffened our already existing supply issues by creating another barrier for sellers and buyers alike to consider when they buy or list their homes. Punishing Canadians with a tax cannot be a solution. The focus should remain on the supply challenges we are facing within Canada. To finalize, a recent survey conducted by Leger on behalf of Remax Canada found that 78% of Canadians mentioned taxation, interest rates, economic recession, climate change, mixed housing, and or public transportation as factors that can cause them to worry in their next home buying journey over the next five years. If you made it this far, I want you to let me know in the comments below where you think the market is heading in the next five years and what solutions you think would help boost supply and slow the high housing prices. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on the bell notifications for more content like this. And I'll catch you next time.